Hello, this is Austin with another Project 24 update, and today I'm going to update you on four of my sites for December 2019. Alright, so just a quick overview of what Project 24 is. Project 24 is a content marketing course that I've been following since September of 2018. When I first got started, it was all about blogging, creating blogging content so that you can get found via organic search. Organic search primarily being Google, but Yahoo, Bing, Google, DuckDuckGo, all of those other things are obviously good as well. Since the time that I've started, they have added a number of features to help enhance the course. They have added a free WordPress theme called Avocado, which I've talked about in other videos. They have added a YouTube course, they've added a Pinterest course, and they've just added a number of different features on top of what they'd already had to help make sure students are successful. And so basically, like I mentioned today, I am going to just update you on my progress with my sites. If you are interested in a course that will help you get found organically uh, with content marketing, click the first link in the description. All right, so this is my first site here. Um, and as I've been alluding to over the last few months, I've actually seen a pretty good uptick on all of my sites, which tells me a few things. Uh, it tells me that these sites are seasonal, um, which is, you know, good and bad. Uh, it tells me that I should probably expect a dip in the next few months, next few weeks, because the holiday season is over. Uh, so uh, my page views are 3,616 for my largest site. There's about somewhere between 95 and 100 blog posts. There's also, um, I would say, probably 40 YouTube videos. I think I have, um, I want to say, somewhere between 80 to 90 subscribers on that channel. Uh, average time on page 25 seconds and a bounce rate of 6.57%. Now the reason why that bounce rate is so low is it's attributed to the avocado WordPress theme that I received for being a Project 24 student. Now you can put that free theme on any number of sites as long as you're a Project 24 student and they're your sites. You can't farm them out, you can't resell it, uh, it has to be your sites. Alright, so that is an overview. And this is my, my traffic. As you can see, organic search followed by direct, social, and referral. If we continue on, organic search, as you can see, my top three results are actually Bing, Yahoo, and DuckDuckGo. Google is in fifth place. While this is much better than what it's been in previous months and even years, um, it is not where you want it to be if you are looking to get found with organic search engine results. If if you are, because Google is the largest search engine, obviously you want that near the top, you want that to be number one. But let's look at some other good things. I am being discovered on Facebook, which is a good thing. YouTube videos, also a good thing as well. And people are, it looks like, finding me on AOL.com, which is awesome. If we continue on, this is where my traffic is located. All the first five are, six maybe our first world countries exactly what you want to see if you are creating a blogging website for affiliate marketing or other types of passive income so overall this site is not where it should be or where i'd want it to be for a site that's been around for uh, maybe close to a year and a half at this point however it is doing much better uh, it's doing much better in the holiday season which tells me it is a very seasonal website uh, one thing that I could probably do to expand my seasonality is to niche up. I am very targeted, apparently, with this content, and I need to add probably more content and more YouTube videos. So that is my largest site. My second largest site has somewhere between uh, 50 and 60 blog posts. Um, I started the site on October 25th of 2018. I completed the first 60 steps on... January, the first week of January of 2019. Now, when I mean the first 60 steps, Jim and Ricky, the course creators of Project 24, there are 60 steps to launch a successful blog site. And basically, step one is like, get a domain, get web hosting. It's very simple. It's, it's broken down to hold your hand through the entire process, but there are 60 steps. So as you can see with this site, I am receiving about 3,623 page views, 3,396 unique views, average time on page four minutes and 19 seconds, a bounce rate of 89.93%. Now with this site, it actually has the X theme. It was the previous theme that Jim and Ricky recommended. That's why you're noticing a gigantic difference between the, first, the bounce rate for the first and second sites. All right, so if we take a look at where my traffic is coming from, as you can see, organic search um, leads the way, followed by direct social and referral. If we take a closer look, it is organic with Google, which is exactly what you want to see for a blogging site. Um, next is direct, 
followed by Bing, Yahoo, DuckDuckGo, Facebook, um, and so on. So does this site meet the objective being found organically with Google? Yes, so that's that's very good. Uh, is this site making money? Have I turned a profit? Yes, I believe that now my sites are all um, profitable at this point. If we take a look at where my traffic is coming from, United Kingdom, Canada, India, United, excuse me, United States, Canada, India, United Kingdom. This niche is a much larger niche. It ap appeals to much, many more people. And so it is expected for um, these search results to show up as they are. All right, so let's take a look at my next site. The next site is what I call my travel site. It is based on uh, Kenosha, Wisconsin, Kenosha County. Um, and the reason why I created this site was initially was to get ad revenue from local businesses and restaurants. Um, since then, I added a number of blog posts, uh, I would say probably between 10 and 20 at this point. And you can see the traffic. Um, 153 page views, 147 unique views, average time on page 1 minute 29 seconds, a bounce rate of 93.53%. Uh, this site was actually created back in July of 2018 before I started Project 24. I didn't start actually adding blog posts until um, January of 2019. And it actually, this site uses the Listing Pro or Listing Directory Pro uh, WordPress plugin. If we continue on, this is where my traffic is coming from, Google Organic, so that's exactly what you wanna see. Direct, Facebook, Facebook, Ahrefs, uh, and so on. And then, as I mentioned a few different times, if the traffic is coming outside the United States, I think they are trying to uh, hack the site or you know, try to attempt it, uh, attempt to access the site for various reasons. All right, so that is my third site. Now my fourth site and my smallest site, which only has about 10 blog posts, um, is pound for pound my most successful site. As you can see here, there are 3,491 page views, 3,175 unique views, average time on page four minutes and 20 seconds, bounce rate of 86.89% and an exit percent of 88.60. Uh, this, this site uh, doesn't have any images, it only has a logo, it just has text, it doesn't have any ads, it doesn't have anything. Uh, one thing I should probably do is add some ads to this website because it is successful with just 10 blog posts. Um, which is doing very well. If we look at the traffic, organic followed by direct, and Google far and away leads it, which is a very good sign, as I alluded to, direct, uh, Bing, Yahoo, DuckDuckGo, and so on. And then if we look at where the traffic is coming from, United States, United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, India. Uh, so I, I get asked this question all the time via email. Do I still recommend Project 24 even though my largest site isn't where it should be? And yes, I do. I, I re recommend it for a number of reasons. One, the YouTube uh, course is very good. As you can see, the blogging course works. Um, if I didn't make some mistakes early on, I think if I chose a different niche to start, um, that first site would, do it, would be doing much better. Um, there's, I feel like there's a few different things that I could have done on that first site and I actually addressed it in a separate video uh, that could actually have made that six, that site more successful. But as you can see, just starting out, if you look at my my smallest channel has 3,491 page views per month. That is incredibly good considering there's only 10 blog posts. Uh, so that tells you that a small site can work, a large site can work. Uh, you just have to put in the time, energy, and effort. So if you haven't done so already, definitely go down and click the first link in the description to check out Project 24. Um, also make sure that you like, subscribe, ring the bell notification, and feel free to comment below if you have any additional questions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Before I forget, I do want to inform you that some of the links that you will see in your description are affiliate links and I do and can receive a commission if you click on those links and purchase a product.